I'm just pretty much upset because my son's not here no more. A Central Iowa woman wants to know how and why her four-month-old son died. Kiana Webster says she took her healthy four-month-old son, Keontae, to the babysitter on February 9th. Then at some point, the person watching the baby called 911. He was rushed to Mercy One Medical Center in Des Moines, and that's where KCCI's Marcus McIntosh picks up this tragic story. Stephen Stacy, when Kiana arrived at Mercy One Medical Center, she was told her baby was dead, but they were able to revive the baby and ended up life flighting him to university hospitals in Iowa City. Yeah. Tell him how he was. I can't, I just, I can't do this. It's difficult for Kiana Webster to think about her four-month-old son, Keontae, who family calls Tay-Tay, without her eyes welling with tears. She needs time, time to blur memories seared into her mind of saying goodbye to her son. He's not here and I wake up throughout the night thinking he's here and stuff and he's really not. The day will come when memories will be met with smiles when thinking of his chubby cheeks, eyes full of life and being a very vocal baby. But neither Kiana nor her mother Rebecca will ever forget how Tay Tay died. Keontae was brutally attacked and more or less murdered. Rebecca says that is the only possible cause, giving no credence to the claim Keontae fell off the babysitter's couch. He had a fracture skull. His spine had got so hit that hit so hard that his spine had actually separated from his skull. He got hit severely all over the head that there was like pools of blood where he got hit. So his brain was so swollen. Rebecca does not think that Des Moines police are doing enough. It's been hard to get them to do their job. Through a statement, Des Moines police tell us they are investigating the death and waiting on the autopsy, a forensic examination, and lab testing. The statement further reads, without that evidence, any accountability for actions that contributed to the child's death is extremely unlikely. Any further conversation regarding evidence in this case would compromise the integrity of the investigation. While saying goodbye to Keontae, the difficult decision was made to donate his organs, a decision that saved lives. She cried over it, but in the end, I think that she was really happy that she saved two lives. Kiana Webster says at some point she would like to meet the two girls whose lives were saved by her son. It gives her a small measure of comfort knowing part of her son is still alive. The family does have a GoFundMe page. It's Justice for Keontae Webster. Steve.